Hi dandies, here's a few tips of what not to do in an interview. Because we talked about what to do, now we're going to talk about what not to do. Okay. Number one, don't be late. Definitely, you have to be on time. You don't want your employer to have a bad impression on you during your first day, which is your interview date. Don't, don't be late. In fact, don't be on time, be 10 minutes early. Mm -hmm. Always be 10 minutes early. If it's a video call, be ready 10 minutes early. They can see that you've joined the video call early. They might start early. The sooner you start, the sooner you finish. And then if you're late, they will ha they will be thinking, oh, this person is not very particular of time. They might do that when they work in the ward or in the clinical area. And at the same time, if you're late, you will feel nervous. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that bad mm. feeling to creep into you when you're there in an interview with two people checking how you get on. Absolutely. And of course, if for whatever reason you are going to be late, it happens, give them notice. Say to them, I'm really sorry, I'm going to be X minutes late because X, Y, Z. At least then they know to expect it without them sitting there going, well, where are they? Mm -hmm. um, this also goes hand in hand with my point and a half, which is double check what time your interview is. I have made this mistake once, <laughs> I promise I have made this mistake once. I went for an interview and turned up at uh, half past two mm -hmm. and I was there ready, going right, I'm here for my interview. They said, your interview was at half past one. Ooh. Turned out Naughty. what happened is they'd sent me an email that day to say they've got a bit coming on in the afternoon, could I do an hour early and I didn't look. So because I didn't look, I just assumed it was the same time. So it's a missed opportunity. Correct. Missed opportunity won't happen again unless no, because they there will be to... another no. vacancy. They won't because they're going, well, it was late. Mm. Obviously not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Number three, make sure that you do not forget which platform you will be interviewed. Is it going to be online? Is it going to be through MS Teams? Or is it going to be, you know, um, personal interview? Yeah. It happened to me as well. When I had my recent interview, I thought I'm going to be interviewed through MS Teams or Zoom. But thankfully, because I rechecked my emails, there wasn't any links. So I called the HR and they told me that it's going to be a remote interview with the mm. employer. So yeah. thank God. Don't get the wrong platform. Don't download the wrong app. <laughs> <laughs> Don't download Teams be ready for a Zoom call. Don't download Zoom and realize it's a face-to-face -face call. Don't turn up at the hospital or wherever you're getting you're getting your interview and find out that they don't even want to do it face to face because of COVID, which is happening a lot now. Yes. But it still happens. It does. One other thing, don't sit there boringly reciting facts after facts after facts without any humanity. <laughs> you are a person, not a book. You are not there to tell them everything they know about the topic of nursing dating back from Florence Nightingale. They don't want to know about the ancient Roman methods. Mm -hmm. They want to know about you and what you're like as a nurse. And as a person. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't be a mannequin. You have to have a feeling and emotion. It's also okay if you feel nervous because it's nerve-wracking to be in an interview. Make a joke. So, I mean, just show who you are and be who you are. Make a joke about being nervous. It's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, they know you're nervous. Break that ice. Another tip not to do. Don't over-break the ice to the point where you're drowning yourself in your own bad humour. <laughs> I know, I've just said to break the ice, but there's a point. Break the ice so it's a comfortable experience. Don't break it so much that you're plunged into the icy water underneath and you're struggling. Ooh. Because if you make a lot of jokes and you don't do enough facts, it's going to also affect badly. You need to find the balance. Don't go all the way professional. Don't go all the way unprofessional. Mm -hmm. Another thing not to do is come in there with a defeatist attitude. You do not want to go in there already feeling that you ain't got it. Yeah, definitely. What's the point of going there in the first place? If you're, if you're, you're going to get a job. Yeah. If you go in there with that mindset, like, oh, I'm not going to get it. Oh, I'm not going to get it. Oh, I'm not going to get it. You ain't going to get it. <laughs> you know, if you start there going, oh, well, you know, what does it matter? Well, I just, you know, smack the, smack the patient around a bit and else they'll shut up, won't they? 
Yeah, I don't do anything like that. Or don't tell your um, interviewer that, Oh, I'm not too good for this. Oh, I won't be able yeah. to do this. Oh, I'm not too good for the role. Then why did you apply for this? Absolutely. Day? Another thing on that topic as well, though, is don't assume you got it. <laughs> I know there's a lot of contra you know, contrast here, but don't go in feeling you ain't going to get it. But don't go in going, eh, I got this. I don't need to try. Oh, ah, my confidence why is not good at all. No, you don't want that. It's good to have confidence. It's good to be hopeful. Yes. Be confident. Have that, you know, that feeling of win, but don't have an expectation that you've got it in the bag. Because they're the times that'll hurt you the most. Yes. I mean, it's good to be hopeful. It's good that you tried your best, you did your best, and let's wait for them. Rather than you go out of the room and say, Cow, I got this job. Yeah. Confidence, not cockiness. Another good tip? Don't be afraid to ask them questions. Yes. If they, when they get to the end of an interview, you'll often be asked, Is there anything you want to ask? And most people go, no, I don't want, just in case I say something bad. You can ask about the salary. Ask about salary, ask about uh, annual leaves. Ask about shift. Is it all right to do a full-time, a part-time? Shift patterns, yes. workloads, uh, what to expect mm -hmm. on your first days, for example. That's always a good topic. We're planning to do a video with that with a ward manager soon. Mm -hmm. But... Absolutely, you don't be afraid to ask questions. They like it. They want you to ask because it shows you have the initiative and you're actually thinking ahead. Mm -hmm. If you sit there and go, no, I've got no questions, all perfect. Well, it's not too bad if you don't have any questions. If you, yeah, if you don't have any but questions, But if you, you have don't. something yeah. inside that you wanted to clarify, yeah. please do so. There are no, there's no such thing as a stupid question. But that brings me to a final point. Don't ask stupid questions. No, oh, my final point is, don't forget to say thank you. Oh yeah, don't forget to thank them. Yes. You're, you know, they have taken their time to interview you. They've given you the opportunity to essentially sell yourself. Yes. So thank them so for that So it's very good to say thank you. Yeah, thank you for the time. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yes, but don't ask... I mean, you can ask stupid questions, but there is a limit. Of course. You know... If you start asking about the price of fish, or, you know, what food the canteen serves, that's... Is that even related? It's related to what I was saying before, you interrupted me. We don't talk about Bruno. Anyway, I hope this video has also helped. Stay tuned for another one, you starring myself in the cutie, or just cutie, or just me. Who knows? Who knows? But we'll see you in future videos. In the future videos. Bye for now, Dandies! Bye for now, cuties!